New tonight, a big assist for a charity that was left charred by arson in Brooklyn Park. Last month, we showed you this video of a man setting a fire inside the Salvation Army there. The smoke destroyed winter coats that community members were supposed to pick up the very next day. WCCO's Alan Henry shows us how a hometown superstar is helping the charity bounce back. Merry Christmas. Thank you. For the Salvation Army, the holiday season is their busiest time of year. We're getting people together. We have a great group of volunteers here as well that are helping uh, make sure that every kid gets a coat that they want. One of those volunteers, the number two NBA draft pick this year, Minneapolis native Chet Holmgren. Being from here and growing up here in the cold, uh, you know, I think this is, you know, a great full circle moment for sure. As Holmgren bounces back from a foot injury that's kept him out this season, this Brooklyn Park Salvation Army is also on the rebound. Operation Warm was originally going to take place during the first Friday of November, but the night before, an arsonist broke into the community center, damaging the donations. Minnesota's not a place where you want to go without a coat for the winter, so uh, I just thought I'd step in and, you know, try and lend a helping hand to, you know, those who might need it. Holmgren contacted the Salvation Army and came up big, replacing 170 coats. And with the Oklahoma City Thunder in town taking on the Timberwolves, Holmgren stopped by to help hand the coats out to families in need. You know, it's always, always great to be able to help people and put smiles on their faces and make sure that they're warm for the winter. Obviously, we've made a great young man in Chet Holgram and, and the way he wants to give back to his hometown, but that is evidence of the way the spirit is in the Twin Cities and the way this community comes together when there's a need and makes sure that uh, that need is taken care of. Alan Henry, WCCO, 4 News. Salvation Army hopes to have its Brooklyn Park location back at full operation in the early spring.